adding mixed numbers. To add mixed numbers with common denominators, add the fractions, then add the whole numbers. Make sure your answer is in simplest form. All right, so two and one sixth plus one and four sixths, we would add the fractions. So one sixth plus four sixths is five sixths. Then we add the whole numbers. Two plus one is three. So that gives us three plus five sixths, which cannot be simplified further. So that's the answer. Try this, five and one ninth plus two and two ninths. First we add the fractions, one ninth plus two ninths is three ninths, and then we add the whole numbers, five plus two is seven. Seven and three ninths. Three ninths can be simplified further, divide the numerator and the denominator by three, and we get one third. So the answer is seven and one third. Sometimes after you add the mixed numbers, the fraction is improper. When this occurs, you must rewrite the improper fraction as a mixed number and add it to the whole number. So here we have three and three fifths plus two and four fifths. So three fifths plus four fifths is seven fifths. Then we add three plus two and that's five. Seven fifths can be rewritten as one and two fifths. Then we're gonna add that to five, giving us six and two fifths. Over here, five ninths plus seven ninths is going to give us 12 ninths, six plus one, is seven. 12 over nine, well that's going to be seven plus one and three ninths. So we take that one and add it over there. Eight and three ninths, three ninths can be simplified, giving us eight and one third. Six and two fifths, eight and one third. To add mixed numbers with unlike denominators, rewrite the fractions as equivalent fractions with a common denominator. Add the fractions, then add the whole numbers. Make sure your answer is in the simplest form. All right, so we have two and one sixth plus one and two fifths. So you change this fraction to have the common denominator of 30. So we have six and five, so we have the common denominator here. Then you change just the small portions of the fractions and then you add the whole numbers together. So you end up with three and 17 thirtieths. Here, we choose nine as the common denominator because nine is a multiple of three. Then we change the numerators. Well, up here, we don't have to change the numerator, but down here, we multiply the two by three to get six. You add seven plus six to get 13 ninths. And then you add the whole numbers to get seven. And you can see that now we can move over another whole nine out of nine over to this this part so we get eight and four ninths in order to do that you just take 13 you subtract nine and you end up you move the whole number over here and that becomes eight and then 13 minus nine is four so you're left with four ninths here are steps to add and simplify we start with nine and one thirds plus eight and three fourths our first step is to find the common denominator of the fractions so we have one third and three fourths, therefore the common denominator is 12. To get 12 here, we would multiply the denominator four by three, therefore we then multiply the numerator three by three, and we get nine. We do the same step up here for one third and to turn it into four twelfths. Then we rewrite the equation over here, we add up the whole numbers and the fractions. So that's our second step. So 4 twelfths plus 9 twelfths gives us 13 twelfths. Then we add 9 plus 8 to get 17. As we can see here, 13 is larger than 12, therefore we can move over a full number over to there. So that becomes 12 twelfths plus 1 twelfth instead of just 13 twelfths. Therefore, we have an 18 here now, this 12 out of 12, and we're left with this 1 over 12. Try this. 9 and a half plus 7 over 10. All right, so the first step is to add the fractions together, and to do that, we need a common denominator. We can see that 10 is a multiple of 2, so let's use 10 as our common denominator. Now, this fraction doesn't have to change at all. However, this one does. To get 10, we multiply 2 by 5. So let's multiply the numerator by 5, and that turns into 5 over 10. Then we just move this 9 over here, and we have our new problem. So here, we add... 5 plus 7 and we get 
12 over 10, and we move the 9 straight down so that it becomes 9 and 12 tenths. Now 12 is larger than 10, so we can simplify this further. This 12 can be broken up into two pieces. 10 over 10 plus 2 over 10. So this 10 over 10 simplifies to 1, and we're left with 2 over 10. So when we add 9 plus 1, we get 10, and then we're left with just this 2 over 10. So this would be our answer, except 2 over 10 can be simplified further. So if you divide 2 by 2 and 10 by 2, you get 10 and 1 fifth. And that is our answer. 3 and 5 twelfths plus 2 and 3 fourths. All right, so the first step is to add the fractions. Uh, we need a common denominator, but we have 12 and 4, and 12 is a multiple of 4, so let's use 12 as our common denominator. This fraction does not have to change because it already has 12 as the denominator, however, this one does. To get 12, we multiply 4 by 3, so let's multiply the top by 3, and we get 9. Now we rewrite our whole numbers like that, and we have our new problem. So then we add 5 plus 9, and we get 14 over 12. 3 plus 2 gives us 5. Now 14 is larger than 12, so this can be simplified further. This 14 over 12 can be written as 12 over 12 plus 2 over 12. And so this 12 over 12 simplifies to 1. So 5 plus 1 gives us 6, and we're left with 2 over 12. This 2 over 12 can be simplified further. If you divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2, you get 6 and 1 6, which is the answer.